when they're finished, and are now 13 songs now. And I'm going to see which one. If there's one that's like a real hit on the song, I might name it after that one, which we were going to name it... Uh, we were going to name it Cyborg in an Adolescent's Head, which was one of the songs. But we finished Cyborg in an Adolescent's Head, and I like it, but I don't like it as much as to be the title song. So oh, okay. I just released this... Well We'll have to come back and bring you back to that album whenever you get done. Yes, we're going to be done hopefully this year. <laughs> Already. <laughs> no, I hear you. Uh, that sounds like my my radio shows, you know. When I first started doing these radio shows, all of a sudden they start start taking over the radio shows. So you you have do you have queued up? What songs do you have queued up in your in your blog talk? Just, just your album. I have your all your whole album. Why don't we play the first one? Yeah. Uh, the first one is what most people love, which you can we can see a video on YouTube for that one, which is really good. Uh, it's called uh, Duh. I have. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Yeah, everyone loves that one. So why don't we go with it's all up to you first? So give us the scoop on this song. What what was your I wrote this song, actually I was singing with a guy for about four or five years in Sendai and he was, he just, he went through a divorce a few years before I met him and then he was just dating a bunch of different girls and he was, he kept breaking up with them and then getting a new girlfriend and then having the same problems and breaking up and getting a new girlfriend having the same problems and I was just telling him he was running away from his, his, at the time I call it karma, uh, but uh, he was creating his own reality with his thoughts and, and emotions and everything else and his projections and expectations. So I was telling him it's not going to solve the problem by keep breaking up with the girl. You're not going to find the better one until you you know work on yourself and realize it's up to you to create the life you want and the, the perfect person will be there with you when you're ready to be the perfect person you can be. So that was what the song was pretty much about. It was my friend Richie Gill. I wrote it for him. No, everybody, that's perfect. Janakis, Janakos. I just, when I was a kid, I grew up and I called myself Tim Janakis, so I, I never knew another way. I didn't remember my dad. He probably he probably uh, pronounced it differently, but he was, my mom was two when I left him, so I don't remember how he pronounced it. Oh, okay. All right, but Tim Janakis, we'll be back from, uh, from his, uh, his album, Beginning is Near, and uh, we'll go from there. Cool. Give you guys a view of the ocean too here. Yeah. That's Waikiki Beach out my window here. Let's try to go in. Oh, people down at the beach. Nice day at the beach. Oh, some people at the pool here. Yeah. Okay. Back to my ugly mug. Now, I like my mug, actually. It's not that ugly. 
got a haircut, you guys can see it. We just finished song seven, so we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have five more songs, and we were we were shooting for two years. This last CD took me three years to do, so we did one C one song every three months. But this one we shot for two years, and he's actually finished. I came back. I came back in uh, from Italy, the ninth month. What is that? September. So September, October, November, December, January, February, March. It's been six months and we've already we finished seven songs, so if we if he keeps at the same pace, we'll finish by the end of the year. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Which, so what, what's your intentions with this new album? Oh, wow. So let me just tell you a little story about how I got this guy. Um, so the guy you heard on that last song, the guitar player who played the rhythm guitars, the acoustic guitars, the uh, lead guitar, he also played bass on a lot of other songs, too. His name is Yuji Kasai. He, uh, at the time he started with this CD, he, three years before we released it, he was only 24 years old, but he was a really talented guy. And uh, he doesn't like to play out live. He only plays in his bedroom. And uh, I had him actually come to one of my shows, and he played, like, sitting behind me. He's like, doesn't want to be on stage. But he's super talented. And uh, he, he uh, during this recording of the CD, we were on song, I don't know, I think it was like song eight or nine, which on the CD is number five on the song, it's called Come Alive, he had an eye operation, so he recorded the bass part, and then right after recording the bass part, he had to go in for an eye operation, and the doctors told him not to do anything for at least a month, 
and I wanted to get the song done. I wasn't wasn't wanting to wait another month. So I contacted this guy that I knew online through my religion, which is Um I contacted this guy that I had friendship with on Facebook and before that on MySpace. His name's Gabor Lesko in Italy. And he, he was able to record the guitar parts for all the guitar parts for Come Alive. And he sent it to us and we, we mixed it in and it sounded perfect. So when I finally finished this one, I decided on my next CD, because my, my producer went back to France, and this guy's in Italy, it's close to France, I figured I would go back to, I would go to Italy and I would go to France and we would record the guitar parts and bass parts at his house, send it to my producer in France and he would do the next CD. But I went and stayed with this guy for 10 days, he's really a phenomenal bass player, guitar player, everything. And he talked me into, he said, you know, I can do the whole CD, you know, I know, De I know your last CD was done really well with, with uh, Remy, but I feel I can do better, so why don't you give me a try? So actually with Remy, the first song that you just played there was my test for him to hire him to do the whole CD. I said, if you can do one song better than all this stuff I've recorded with all my previous previous uh, recording artists and people, that recording engineers that I recorded with, I'll hire you to do the whole CD. And so he recorded that first song, It's All Up To You, and that was it. I said, okay, you're, you're, hi you're hired. So I did basically the same thing with, with uh, this guy in Italy, Gabor Lesko. I said, if your first song comes out better than anything I did on my last CD, then you're, you're hired for the full, for the full CD. And, and he did. He released uh, one of the seven songs we just released, and I can't remember which one we released first. But anyway, I think it was, uh, oh, it was Silver Lining. And it just, his, his string arrangement was so phenomenal. And he also played the guitar parts, the bass parts, everything. And did all the keyboard arrangements and, and string arrangements, just like Remy did. Remy did all the string arrangements on the song you guys heard there. He did the, actually, he did all the percussions and all the drumming just by touch on a computer. So we didn't have any real drumming. But on the new CD, we're going to have actually real drumming, which is a, which is a good addition, too. So Remy's not going to be doing this, your next album. No. Uh, Gab Gabor Lesko is, so, yeah. So how come you didn't have them collaborate with each other and have them both do the album? That, that was my original design, but uh, Gabor talked, I stayed at Gabor's house for 10 days and he talked to me into the whole 10 days. He said, you know, you should give me a try, just like you did with your last producer. You let him do one song. And... You're cutting out really bad. Uh, right now. Uh, you know, oh, okay. I don't know, you're, you're not close to the mic or whatever, but you're cutting out really bad. Okay. We're getting, yeah, I'm getting interference too from listening to you. Okay. So I'll just try to talk slower because sometimes Skype slows down, and it probably will drop. Well, I'll, 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 there's, some, there's somebody just in the background or, or whatever, but there's, there's, you can slide across the screen. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just talk slower and then you can talk faster. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I might have to call you back because. Yeah. Let me try to call you back. Let me call you back because I, I'm I'm hearing you the same way. Okay, I'll do that real quick. I'll be I'll be right back. Okay. But in the meantime, you uh, you heard this album before, right?
You guys, I'm in the middle of a radio program. Don't come in here. Okay, I'm restarting my computer because it started problems, so. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, dudes. I'm sure they're going to play another song there, so you're going to have to watch the replay on their end. I'm going to put a little, uh, I'm rebooting my computer because it was just everything was freezing up for some reason. So, we'll see if it starts right now. This is my, uh, Deep Blue by, uh, doTERRA. A bunch of different, uh, essential oils in here. Let's see if I can figure out which ones they are. It has uh, a bunch of stuff. I can't read it. It's too too bright. The window here. So my car, my computer's restarting. So just hang loose. But uh, in the meantime, I'll do a little commercial. So my my song, my CD that they're talking about right now, beginning is here. Released 2012. December 21st is uh, 20 about 24 bucks in the US in Japan it's almost 30 bucks because Japan it's always more expensive everything's more expensive there so I put the regular price for CDs in Japan or even if you're a no-name artist it's the same I even actually bought another person's CD that was a no-name artist for 30 bucks and it was only like 10 songs this is 11 songs actually there's a hidden track here and mine was actually a lot better than his. I can't believe I spent thirty dollars, but that's in Japan. Everyone charges twice as much as any place else for everything. So it has first song, "It's All Up to You." Second song, "I Am Love," which I co-wrote with a, a Japanese guy. So it's the Japanese title is "Waga Haiwa Aideyaru." Okay, my computer's almost booted up. Uh, it has Japanese and English lyrics. He plays piano. He's now in a a group that. Uh, what is it, a uh, Ikemen's group called Knees, which is for Niigata, but it's in, uh, I think they're in um, Nagaoka. And then Rise Above, a hard rock song. At times like this is a love song I wrote for my wife. Believed to be linked to Al-Qaeda is my first uh, and only reggae song. Come Alive is the piano one I was talking about that... Uh, Gabor Lesko did the guitar parts on. And uh, Open Your Eyes is acoustical ballad. Really beautiful acoustic guitar mm -hmm. song. Sachi Says is uh, kind of like a dancey pop song. And uh, it's about an internet love named Sachi. Or his inter Sachi falls in love with this guy from India. But I actually changed it to Latvia, which is secret code language for who I really wrote the song about. My computer's making all kinds of noise. That doesn't sound good. I might have to sign in on my other computer. Okay. My computer decides to go down in the middle of a call. So luckily I brought two laptops. Let's see if this laptop will come up. It's like it's overheating or something. 
Oh, it is overheating. I'm going to put it on my lap. It's freaking hotter than heck. It's right on down. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, let me try to boot this one up. And try to cool it down. It's freaking hot. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. System temp. Yeah, it was temperature overheated. Sorry to keep you guys waiting over there. Check it, check, check. Check, check, check. Okay, good job. No, I don't want to do that. Fuck, come on. Okay, I gotta find the number now.